All right, hold on. Is this on? I'm guessing it's on. Please tell me it's on. Please. Okay, nobody's home. <coughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Find Love or Die Trying Now. I am not the type to be into dating sims because I think they're for nerds, but I am a nerd, so I realized why not try one for myself. I also have Doki Doki installed, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. But for, screw it, let's get into this because the characters and the music just really intrigue me. This plot, I forgot the plot, something like, I mean, you gotta find a love interest or else you'll die. Something like that, but, oh, I can't wait. Oh, this is kind of exciting, actually. I was supposed to play Minecraft with my, uh, my squad this morning, but, um, unfortunately, no, it, it, my, oh. You know, it gives me Persona vibes, this one. I don't play Persona, but I've seen it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> nope. Um, hey, don't just lie there. Get up. Uh, just five more minutes. Yes. Uh, you're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Watch me. <laughs> yes, MCS priorities. Let's go. Oh, that's how you want to play? Yeah. Uh-oh. Wait, did you? Oh my god, you freaking hit me. Uh, ow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Hello, miss person. Arise and shine, sleep. What am I doing in here? Ow, dude. Did you just hit me? Oh, nah, I just got here. I just chased off the person who hit you. Wait, what? Uh, are you sure? Really? You should be thanking me. Uh, pretty sure that was you. No, I'm pretty sure that was you. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that was you. What's that? Oh, no, I don't like that. That's a smug look. I don't like that smug look. What's that look with your... You hit me again! The hell? The fuck? Oh, that was a dick move. Damn it! Now we're back. now we're right back to where we started. <sighs> Stop hitting me! Come on, this is abuse. Right in the shot, sleepyhead. Uh, you just hit me. Wait, did this just happen? Of course not. There's no way that hit you too. Sure. <sighs> What's your name again? My name is. I can't remember my name. Thanks, lady. I didn't even hit you that hard. So you did hit me. Oh my god, what a bitch! <laughs> if you can't remember anything, we're both going to be in big trouble. Why's that? We can talk about why after. What was your name? It's... Yeah, screw it. It's AIDS. Um... Hope they don't mind A-I-D-S. Nobody minds, right? And my pronoun is... He. I'm a man. I'm a man. I could be anyone you want me to be, but... Technically a man. The name's AIDS. It's AIDS. I can't remember anything else, oh damn it. Who am I? <laughs> well, I should try hitting my account. Uh oh. No, don't stop hitting people. That is not good, lady. You remember where we are? What you're doing here? No, I can't remember a thing. I can give you the rundown. You're on a re. Wait, what? Uh. Find love for the un. Sure. Okay. Ah. Uh. I'm the producer, Cat. Hello, Cat. Uh, the premise is that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women, and one of them is your soulmate. I haven't met them yet, but how do you know one of them is my soulmate? Yeah, no, wait, that's me. How do you know? And that's just how it is. Welcome to real. No, you don't know. You have to make me decide, huh? You get to know two of the girls over the next six days, and over three days with each. What about the other three then? Then on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you. Wait, what? Ah, uh, wait. You, then you don't know who the the soulmate is because you're making me decide, excuse moi. Uh -huh. That seems straightforward enough to me. Not so fast, partner. The girl you choose will be given a choice. Whether or not they... Oh, that explains it. Whether or not they accept your proposal. If she says yes, you two will get to fade off into the sunset on a gold-plated yacht on the last day. Oh, sounds fancy. Happily ever after forever. Except without the yacht. It's a loner. Ah. Well, if she says no... Well, we're going to have to... Whoa! I'm sorry, what? Kill me? You're joking, right? Oh my god, nope. That's not the reaction I wanted to see. Oh god, huh? Hey, really, you look like I just took a shit in your cereal. What's going on? Wait, wait, what's going on? Who are you? 
Oh, where were my manners? The name's Damien. Damien Black. Wait a second. Oh, that's... Reminds me of Damien Dark from a DC. I'm the CEO of Royal Black Media. The biggest network for Battle Royale games on a... Damn it, you made Fortnite! Battle Royale games like computer games? You've been living under a rock, stink-ass armpit? Real... P wait. Oh, nope, he didn't make Fortnite. He made Squid Game. Guys, he made Squid Game. Real people killing each other is in this season. What? What? Well, was in this season, I swear. Put in hard and honest work and making top of the line killing shows and what do I get for it? So we're trying a new kind of killing game. Spicing a little romance on top for the people who fart dreams and big kicks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you don't need to be so, uh, metaphorical. That's where you come in and hey, it's not a bad deal. You might find love or die, whatever. Did I really decide this? Did I really decide that I wanted to find a partner or die in seven days? Because holy fuck, that sounds like something I would do. Oh, just put on a good show for me, hmm? Hello, security guard. Excuse me, Mr. Black. Uh, what is it? One. Oh, we're missing one of the aerial cameras for the backfields. Oh, well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Give him hell, Kit Kat. I don't like this. Oh god, those bandos and waifus out here to kill me. I don't like this. Don't need to tell me twice. Oh fuck, I don't like this. These people just talking over me, just casually deciding my fate. Look, look. I don't know what's going on here, but I am getting out of here. Yeah, boy. For starters, I can barely remember my own name. Let alone if I already have a partner. If that's what you're worried about, you didn't. Wait, what? And not for lack of trying. How would you know that? <sighs> Look, you don't have a choice. Wait, what? Damien will kill you if you try to escape or if you tell... Oh, fuck. So they don't know. They don't know. They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's a regular dating show about finding your soulmate called... Find oh, the uninformed, huh? If you tell any of them the truth, you won't just get yourself killed, you'll get them killed. Damn it, really? This is bl- It ain't just blackmail, this is just a bad managing. How could you? Ah, uh, I don't make the rules, AIDS, I'm sorry. Maybe I should have chosen a different name. Really? You're, you're a pretty serious person, AIDS. Most people would be a little happier to hear that they're alone in paradise if I've been full- I don't know, the death part sounds kind of sus to me. What's there to worry about? Oh, you know, the whole getting executed thing if the girl I ask says no. The little bit with not remembering who the hell I am. How about this? I need my show to be successful and run according to plan. Well, and you want your memories back and presumably to leave the show alive. That deepens, uh, that depends on who the, fuck. That depends on what the memories are, but yeah, I'm getting dementia already. If you'll be a good suitor for my show, I'll help you get your memories back. It's really not a bad deal. Most people would kill for- Oh, of course they'd kill for a chance like this. All you have to do is get to know five lonely women and ask one- Did I kill someone for this show? Because I'm starting to get, uh, pretty- I'm starting to get pretty suspicious. I'll be with you every step of the way, off camera. Before you know it, I'm sure you'll be having lots of fun- I better! Who knows, you may even fall in love. You wouldn't be the first. Well, I'm not the first to die either. But if you survive the whole show, I promise that I'll tell you everything you want to know. Pinky promise. How does that sound? Yeah, screw it. That sounds like a deal. I got no choice. Might as well. Might as well enjoy the ride. Sounds like a deal. Oh wait, there's music. I'm not sure if it's copyrighted though. So well, that's a spirit, sugar. Who knows, you might even be thanking me for this one day. We'll see about that. Trust me, I'll make sure that this show will be the best time of your life! Woo! Uh, just to be- uh, It'll be so great that everything after will feel like- That doesn't sound as- <coughs> As good. <laughs> That's a depressing way to look at it. What if I ended up with one of the girls after the show? Anyway, without further ado- How? You, you don't answer my questions now, huh? Let's get started with the show! Woo! It's kinda scary, the whole dying part. Follow me, I'll take you to where to meet our lovely contestants. Uh, oh god. She grabbed me- I don't like that smug face, it's kinda scary. Uh, pull me along. Remember, you can't tell anyone the truth about this dating game. No matter what, just smile. Got it? I got it. Hmm. We stepped out of the bar. 
Didn't realize it, but it was a ball a bar in a small it felt like an airplane, I knew it. I guess I must have been flown here. We walked till we saw a mansion in the distance. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. It's huge. I can't imagine how expensive this place is. Well, you'd be surprised. Since we're all the way in some forgotten corner of New Asia, the land comes pretty cheap. New Asia? I'm sorry, are we in a post-apocalyptic world? We're in a freaking post-apocalyptic world, which is why people make death games, huh? New Asia? Have you never read the news in the past decade? No, I forgot. Ah, uh, right. Well, I oh, uh-oh. Five, four, three, two, one! Wait, what? We're starting already? Oh no, not quite. To give the world top tier enjoyment. To protect our ass from an imp Wait, oh, oh, that's copyrighted music, oh. But wait a sec, he, I'm sorry, they're doing, they're doing a thing. They're doing Team Rocket. I love these guys already. To make the world believe in faith and love. To excel, oh, to extend a ritual size above, oh. We work like slaves for the shills above. Woo! Oh, uh, we're the brothers five, okay. Jesus Christ, one, two, three, four, and five. Prepare to fight. Oh, get the set ready. I want to start filming yesterday. Jesus Christ. Yep. Oh my God, they're so disappointed. Man, treat your workers better. Come on, you got men working for you, hard working folks. Oh, I guess we're not important enough to finish our intros. No, I want you guys. Forget the girls. Give me a dating show about dating one to five. Come on. Whose idea was this to work in the TV industry anyway? No, this wouldn't have happened if we just decided to be accountants. Wait by the mansion doors and thank me later. God damn it, cat! Treat your workers better. Don't be an Ellen. It's showtime, people. Let's get to work. Man. All right. I walk to the doors. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Oh, that was a doorbell, and Cat's voice boomed across the island. Oh, oh God. Cat, this is scary. Cat, I wasn't kidding when I said I be with you every step. Oh no, you're just watching me all the time. I don't like that. Now you're just a big sister. Big sister's watching. As long as you're on this island, I'll be able to see, hear, and even talk to you. Is there a secret route where we could date Cat? I'm tempted to date Cat now. Just think of me as a cuter and si I just said it! I just said it! I just said she was a, a big sister. Big brother, come on. That doesn't sound nearly as good as you think it does. How else could we film this show? You really want to meet love of your real life with a camera sticking out of your head? Good point. Uh, anyway, head on to the mansion and go meet the girls! Woo! Checking out the library, kitchen, game through it, and the backyard. What's so bad about the backyard, hmm? From here on out, the cameras are rolling. Don't be stupid. I'll see you later, Sweet Cheeks Cat. So this is a show, huh? I guess we gotta go into character. Well, I'm finally here. There's one thing left to do. Open the door! Woo! Alright. Well, we're loading. Um, anybody home? Oh, that's the first one. My eyes were drawn to a girl wearing a white dress pacing around the lobby. She seems pretty normal. Hey, what's up? Uh, whoa, didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's really you, Aze. Wait, you know me? That's me. How did you know my- Oh no. Is this a childhood best friend? It hasn't been that long, has it? Oh no, it's a child. Yui, Yui Fushikawa. Oh no, this is a childhood best friend. We went to the same high school way back. Oh god. Oh no. Come again. Heesh, you haven't changed one bit. Anyway, always forgetting everything. I have dementia. Excuse me. It's dementia. Grr. Oh, uh, calm down. I know how it sounds, but I've got amnesia. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You better expect me to believe. I better expect you to believe that because I don't know what you do. I literally don't know. You can't lie to your student council president, that's- Oh my gosh, he's student council as well! Oh my god, that's perjury! It's true, really, I wouldn't lie about this. You really can't remember anything! Really, I wouldn't joke about this, I promise. You don't joke about serious mental illnesses. Oh, I can't believe you forgot- Hey, on second thought, that may be a good thing- Oh no, oh no, she has a plan. How on earth could it be good to forget everything? Well, you know, moving on for the past is the best way to live and all that. 
Everyone has things from high school they'd rather forget. Oh no, I feel like that's something. That's a you thing. That's kind of a you thing. Ha, ha. Oh no, we did a thing. Oh, we definitely did a thing. You did a thing, didn't you? Oh my god. You did a thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Uh -huh. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> it's good to see you, Ace. You haven't changed. It feels just like when we used to fool around. What kind of fooling around, Yui? Yeah, fool around like family. Uh, Yui? It's good to see you too, Yui. What brings you out here? Oh, you know, to be honest, dating after shows are, and all that really aren't my thing. But I saw that you were... So I was in the show, or I was like, advertise, hey, this is a suitor, and oh my god, all the girls are coming. Sure. What are you making me say? Uh, besides that, welcome to the mansion. Uh, it's ginormous. I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself, ask me and show you where my room is. Uh, wait a second, I haven't cleaned it up yet. Oh, is that the case? Well, let's go to our room. Uh, let's go. Oh, nope, never mind. I got the sense that this has happened before. I guess I'll see her later. Damn, I want to see you meet. She seems nice. Uh, let's get back to exploring the house. Where to next? Let's see, where would I visit? Uh, let's say, I'm me. Um. Okay, Um. let's save first. Let's go save. Uh, first slot. Did I do it? <clears throat> That's good. So, where would I go first? Um, first things first. Well, I'd go to the kitchen. Because I, I know I, all these places would exist, but like, huh, I'd get lost and somehow I'd find my way to the food. To the food! Woo! I'm guessing this is gonna decide my fate. Oh, hey, it's you guys. One, two, and three. And, uh, lady. Huh, one. These ribs are well done. Uh, it's food wise now. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, uh oh. They were supposed to be medium rare. Remake them all before. Oh god, bitch. Bitch. I knew we should have just worked in accounting. Damn it. Then I've just the opportunity for you, one. I've just bought one of the neighboring islands. I need someone to balance the books. Oh boy. Rich lady. Rich girl. Please have that finished by nightfall. What? Nightfall and ribs. I take it back. The side dishes are magnificent, too. Keep it up, you diligent worker, you. Oh, shucks, you're too kind, ma'am. Oh, I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. Oh, I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. Violet's amazing, and she's even volunteering to help us slowly. Oh, God, what a bunch of simps. Whew, what a five. This soup is delightfully sim simply delightful, sorry. Good work, three. Whew, thank you, Violet. Gosh, she's a hundred times better than when four bosses around. Simps? Simps? Alright, I couldn't agree more, bro. One, if he insists on taking so long on the meatballs, perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. Oh god, I don't like this. Just kidding. Though, upon further thought, you'd never need them. Oh god, come on. Oh, she's such an angel. Simp? Are we even talking about the same person? <laughs> oh no. Hi there. Pardon me, I didn't see you there. Just one second. I give her like a British accent. Something like. Because she, she seems like the rich type. Something to own her own mansion and her own island, especially. I've got to clean up the soup that one set on fire earlier. How is that even possible? Soup on fire. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Evidently, the same is true if you lack a mind completely. Ha, ah, public education. Ah, uh, yeah, let's not go there. Just kidding. Hey, that was uncalled for. Uh, actually, we think the same about you all the time. Damn it, too. Treat your brother the same way. Come on. I can confirm that. I wish mom never had you. Oh my god, you're quintuplets. Quintessential quint... Well, you're very essential quintuplets. I wish mom never had you guys. Yikes. Apologies for the delay. I'm finished now. I'm Violet. Violet Valentine. Oh, she's VV. The pleasure is yours, AIDS. Damn it! Why does everybody know me on this island? Oh, you already know who I am. I imagine each contestant does, flying all the way out here for a whole week for a blind date. No one can be that unintelligent. Well, it's... I'm a risk taker, and apparently an amnesiac. I hope you're worthy of being the suitor. You'll find that courting a lady is different sport than the other girls. Tell me about it. It's true. She's one of the two daughters of the Valentine family. I don't know, I'm not into rich people. I don't know, she's pre I, I'm not liking her as much as you guys are. They're even richer than Royal Black Media. Alright, three. Your pay is cut by 50%. Enjoy your even shittier instant noodles. Damn it, Damien. 
Is it too late to go back to school? Oh god. I am, how to say, fascinated. I'd like to see what makes you so special. Yo, what am I special for anyway? You look rather average to me. I guess you'll be in for a surprise, Violet. I do like a... Uh... A definite explosion blasted through the kitchen. One? Did you do that one? Uh... The spaghetti tonight will be... How to say... <laughs> a little different. Did you bake the spaghetti? Oh god, the, sp the oven exploded. You're really not putting one on the menu, right? <laughs> oh god. Uh oh. One. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Damn it, one. Looks like they'll be busy in the kitchen for a while. I decided to head over to. Well. Games room? Games, baby. Priorities. Do they have a PS5 in there? Do they have a Switch? If they have. Oh my god, it's a gamer girl. I knew it. It's her. She's cool. And the music's pretty chill. Oh damn, that's a nice game room too. Open space, it's good for connect. Oh my god, and I like her, she's she's cool. As we walked into game room, my eyes were drawn to a girl playing on a handheld game device. Uh, she looked deep in thought as her fingers moved and pressed buttons at lightning speed. Oh god, she's skilled too. Ooh, new high score. Oh man, it's a shame I can't submit it. Let me guess, no Wi-Fi? Oh, sup dude? Hey, cool name. And you got a cool vibe. You know what happened to the internet? What? <laughs> Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. Oh, I'm literally going to die at this rate. Oh no, she's relatable. Yeah, you okay? And tell my followers they were the best. Oh, she's a Twitch streamer. Never mind. Oh, actually, Twitch streamers are okay. They're pretty cool. Tell my followers they were the best. Chill, chill, man. The, the, the. <laughs> she's just on the floor writhing. She's just. Uh. <laughs> well, she's alright. Oh, well, she's definitely better than Violet. Uh, what does a person even do in this situation? Good question. Are you okay? Uh, uh, no worries, AIDS. She'll be fine. Oh, hey, cat. What's up? Oh, her full name's Catherine. I guess we're calling her cat. We have to turn off all the internet to make sure no spoilers for the show get out. Really, I think it actually I think it would be better if you add a, a bit of it. You know, how do you call it? Imagine the contestants are out there posting themselves on social media, including me, and that would get a lot of attention. They'd be like, "Oh my God, that's what they're doing on the show." That'd be pretty cool. Tara's just a little bit over dramatic about it. You'll get used to it. Yo, you tell me I'm being over dramatic when you literally sent us back into the Stone Age. I don't know about Stone Age there, fam. Uh, with games, electricity, and other things, but still. Uh, oh, I was so excited to stream for everybody when I got here. I feel that. <laughs> oh no, she did. Oh, emote. Emote, you're a streamer? You have my attention. Yes, sir, that I am. I'm mostly a variety game streamer, but I also stream real life too. I don't, I, you could just say vlogging. And I can't now. Uh, maybe you could just record things and post them later. I guess that's what I'll have to do. But that is so last year. A shot's fired. By the way, what's this whole show about? Uh, wait, what? I honestly have no idea what I just got into regarding pretty much everything to do with this show. You didn't even do a little bit of research before you decided to come here? Come on. Hey, hey, don't get in my face about this. From what I heard from Kat, you didn't either. Okay, ouch. But second of all, yes. It's amnesia and do not doing research is different. I forgot to do my due diligence and you forgot your life. Okay, okay, now now you're just... You just... Ow, this is just a shot. This is just shots fired. Don't make me come out there and brawl you. I liked you, but now we're just firing shots at each other. Huh. I forgot to do my due diligence. Oh yeah, wait, I rewinded. Ah, uh, same deal. It's not the same deal. Anyway, it's a dating show called Find Love. Kat can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from any generic dating show. And my name's AIDS. I'm what Kat calls the suitor. Huh. So it's like a visual novel, dating sim game, except I'm stuck in it, rather than getting to play- Yep. If you want to be the player, be my guest. 
I would rather you die. I mean, I, I, I'd rather you, um, you'd be dying to try this. Yeah, you'd be dying to, you know, be the player. I mean, if this is an Otome, maybe. I guess so. Well, since this is a game, uh oh, I'm gonna win it. I don't think this is how this works, Terra. I don't know if you want me to be your suitor. Yes, I'm a content creator. Yes, I'm a gamer. Yes, I do arts, but I don't know, man. I'm not sure that's the right way to approach dating. Oh my god, the player is so relatable. But look out, World Terra is coming! Wait, um, and she always wins. <laughs> oh no. Terra ran off with a fiery look in her- Where's she going? I got no idea where she's headed. But who would? I guess there's nothing left to do here. Really? I'd stay here- Wait, we can't watch YouTube, there's no internet. Damn it. Well... Uh, light, the backyard is gonna be my last place. I'm into reading. I would do anything but go outside first. It's like- Oh my god, it's so late today. Hey, it's Cat and Damien. Are they together? I don't know, are they- I don't know, they're probably associates. Jesus Christ. The library was like a library out of a movie. Grand Majestic. Uh, nothing like your average library, which becomes a porn set after closing time. Oh god, how did you know? Dude, I, I, I feel like you're going in too deep here. Shh. I took a few steps forward and I noticed a girl with red hair. Hey, there she is. Oh my god. Oh, she has my interest. She's my interest. She's second place. She was reading a magazine, or so it seemed from first glance. If you craned your head a bit to the side, you could see another book hidden behind the magazine. A.B. Testing After the Apocalypse, first edition by D.B. Damn it, this is post-apocalyptic. Well, if that's the case, might as well just go for one of the girls then. Hey, what you reading? Not this, uh, just another elementary, eh? Uh, I mean, an absolutely fetch truth tea bomb. Yes. Are you trying to be hip when you're actually a sort of a book nerd? Come on, let your inner self come through, lady. Can you believe that this one celebrity would like date another celebrity? Yeah, hey, I can't even. It's almost like they're. <laughs> it's almost like they're people. I, uh, yeah, I can see what you're actually reading. You know. Oh gosh, that's so embarrassing. Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're actually reading sounds a lot more interesting. Oh, where I come from, people make fun of people who do what I do, I guess. To them, a library is just a place to film your porn. That's a close. Damn, what does everybody think libraries are after porn closing time? That's me. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Therefore, reading, therefore, research, therefore, hanging out with friends at a book club. <coughs> I'm Scarlet, by the way. Your aides, correct? Ah, oh, that's me. It's nice to meet you, Scarlet. It's nice to meet you too, aides. Oh god, I don't like her face. Oh god. Oh no, she's doing the ara ara face. I'm curious, so what are you actually reading? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, uh, here, let me show you. Ah! Scarlet dropped the magazine and the book behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. This is kind of awkward. She ran away so fast I didn't even have a chance. Oh god. Well, that's kind of awkward. So she's a oh, I guess she's the last one. Backyard. I think this is a yellow-haired girl. She was like a, a bookworm. I mean, no, she was the athlete. The athletic one. Now, I want to see how this does. Calling this a backyard is like... <laughs> calling what happened to the Titanic a leak. The field goes farther than the eye can. This ain't just a backyard. This is the entire... This is just the entire lot. Yep, eyes are drawn to a girl running laps across the field. She's quick. She's getting closer and closer and... She slid to a stop in front of me. Oh my god, she's a flash. Howdy, I'm Ali. Nice to meet you. Well, you said howdy. I'm already giving you a cowgirl accent. Yo, AIDS, right? The lats? I don't really care. Care for a jog, though. I'm fit. I'm I'm all for it. That sounds... Uh-oh. All right, let's go! Wait, already? Wait, she's already running. Oh, God, help, help. Uh, she grabbed my hand and pulled me with her at a breakneck speed. Woo! Ah! Oh, God, she's so fast. It takes all he has just to keep pace with her. 
The wind in my face feels nice though. For some reason, I feel like I've missed this. It's a runner's high, dude. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone through this fast. Woo! Oh, I'm falling behind. Come on, come on, keep it up. We have you in tip-top shape in no time, soldier. Uh-oh, whatever. Nice thoughts I had floating in my head were thrown out the window. By my newly assigned drill sergeant. Okay, fourth place, fourth place, fourth place right off the bat. Oh, God, I can't keep up. Thought I'd sign up for a daily show, not a fitness show. Help, help, help. Oh. Oh. All right, all right, I'm starting to get... Hitting a comfortable pace. Is that all you've got? Yes, it's all I've got. Help me. Aldi was widening the distance between us with a smile. Okay. okay. Oh, she I'm running behind. I'm running behind. Call me simple, but I started to run as fast as I could. Uh, uh, I gained more and more speed and watched as Ali slowly fell behind. Wait, I'm going faster? Okay. Wow, you're running even faster than my dad did. Oh my god, they we're really doing this kind of humor? Come on. Come on, shots fired, man. Ouch, man. This is just too much. What the? Uh, ow. Oh god, I bit my... Mm. Wait, time up, time. Break, give me a break, give me a break. I unconsciously slowed down with my face contorted with shock. Jesus Christ. In just that single moment, she caught up and quickly surpassed. Damn it, Ali. I'm kidding. Jeez, no need to take over the... Uh, no need to take everything so seriously. The bastard died before I even get what got a chance to. Jesus Christ, Ali. Chill. Oh, I'm so... Don't be. I killed him. Oh, my God. Ali, are you okay, dude? You okay, lady? Ah. Uh, the look on your face is hilarious. The look on your face is hilarious. <laughs> Don't worry so much, Shays. I'm kidding, kidding. Somehow, I feel like you're not kidding, kidding. Or oh, am I? I felt my heart start to give out less from the running and more from the emotional run. <laughs> Help me, Ali, you son of a bitch. We finished jogging a few minutes later. Thank God. Oh, I feel the sweat and I'm just sitting down. I'm completely out of breath. <sighs> that was fun, AIDS. <sighs> Let's run again sometime. I felt on my knees to catch my breath and watched as she walked away. How dare you. But you'll have to be faster than that to keep up with me, suitor. I laid on the grass like an obese walrus gasping for air. I think it's a good note to end it on. Is this how I die? Whew. I'm just sitting down. I don't know why I thought I was getting so tired over all this. I don't think it'll, I'll have to be worried about telling Ali the truth with how hard it is to breathe. <laughs> I think I'll live, at least for now. Yay. I rolled onto my back and relaxed for a moment. That's what, honestly, I, I kind of think this is some sort of post-apocalyptic world with, where like waifus are reigning supreme and like death shows are all the rage. Like people, a uh, normal life is probably going as normal, people dying themselves insane colors, but with people uh, going it with intense stuff, it's they're like trying to mask it under normalcy. Who knows? Enough messing around. If you are on the show and you're not an underpaid grunt, come to the front of the mansion. Oh, come on. I guess that includes me. Should start heading over. That includes you too, Terra. I could see you playing, you know. Aw, oh, man. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? I feel like the death part ain't as bad as how trying to live with these five bad heads. <clears throat> yeah, there they are. All six. Very cute, very beautiful ladies, and also very terrifying in their own ways. So who am I ranking? Alright, who do I want to go for? If we're not including Kat, she's basically the Monica or the you... What's her name? Um, that fairy girl from uh, Honey Pop. Um, Yui, you're... Was she also Yui? Yue. Oh, Q. Q, she was Q. Yeah, so, um, let's see. I'm going for... Uh, What's this? Uh, let's see. What's her name? Ah! Cat. I'm stupid. So, Cat is basically the Monica slash, uh, slash Q of the show. Which means she's probably either a secret path or we really just can't get to her. I really hope she has a secret path though, because that's very interesting. Now, my rankings will be number one we're going for yui childhood best friend i always love the childhood best friend trope and she seems pretty nice we already did something and i want really want to make i don't know make a new life with her because i don't know my old life i completely forgot second would probably be uh scarlet miss scarlet johansson over here she's a bookworm and probably very erotic uh she's uh rr energy i like her third place would be terra uh yeah she's Terra's pretty cool. I love her. 
Um, she would have been second place if, you know, she wasn't um, a little oblivious. I mean, I, I mean, she's so cool. Twitch streamer and all. Man, so nice. But I don't know. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, was this Ali would be fourth place? I love, I, I mean, I love sports. I love athletes. They're pretty cool, but I can't keep up with her, and my character wouldn't too. And last place is Violet. Kind of a biatch. I, although, some people love it. Like, they love, um, the whole hard to get thing and the whole uh, rich girl, the himedere, it's pretty cool. By the time I got there, Kat and the girls were surrounding a blackboard scribble scribbles and math equations. And that's why AIDS is the perfect soulmate for each- Damn it! Are you doing maths just to see why I'm a good soulmate? I'm sorry, he just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit math issue on screen in a movie. <laughs> ah. You're late to the party, AIDS. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Do you mean like speed dating? Alone time segment? You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. Well then... I don't like these girls staring at me. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate. One of two lovely ladies you'll get to spend time with this week. So I do have to pick two, huh? Okay, so I did say I would go for Yui and uh, Scarlet, so let's go with them, come on. So without further ado, who's it going to be? I had to choose already. I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. That's true. Oh, don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well, who do you want to talk to the most right now? Hmm. Alright, I guess. I'd like to spend today's alone time with... Um... Yui, come on. That's our priority. Yui. You and Yui. Yes, cuff it up for I won the bet. Wait, what? Uh-oh. For? What kind of bet did you make? But that was my whole salary. How am I gonna... Okay. And great choice, Aids. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> uh. Alright. Places, people. Let's get this show on the road. Yes, ma'am. Woo! And action. Alright. It's exciting. Wow. It was very interesting. The forest to the north of the house was as serene as could be. With each step forward, I felt the soft earth give way beneath my feet and the wind caress my skin. Oh, that's kind of nice. Green as far as the eye can see. And her, in a flowing white dress, standing in the middle of it all. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, hey there, Aids. What you doing all the way out here? I was looking for you. Wait. Yeah, that'll be cute. I was looking for you, Yui. I was hoping we could spend some time together. Aw. Then consider me the luckiest girl in the whole world. Aw. You had the cutest giggle. The kind that instantly put a smile on your face. That's why. Aw, man. I love her. She's so nice. We better marry by the end of the week now. Well, you found me now. Care to join me for a walk? I like that. Oh, my God. The heart. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh, uh, birds. There's birds and the pigeons. Uh, birds and the butterflies. We started to walk down the forest path together. I couldn't help but be fascinated by her hair flowing like water in the wind. I doubt you remember, but... I'm from way out in the country. I grew up surrounded by animals. Nature, you name it. It was just me and my grandma. Oh, the music's so nice, but I'm still scared if it's copyrighted. It was just me and my grandma, my two little brothers, and the alpacas, and the bunnies, bun and bun bun, and the chickens, and too many farm animals to count. To answer your question from earlier, nature takes me back home. You s uh, do you still live there? Yep, wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, she's a country girl. You know what? I I'm gonna think about it. Do I want to spend my time out in the country? Because the city's a big place, and the country is hard to access things, but at the same time, it's a peaceful life. And living it with her, it's pretty cool. It's like a happy ending to a story. Given that over death, I'd take a farmhouse retirement any day. Though I had moved to the city for a bit way back when. You know, that's when I met you. How do we meet? Well, uh, you know, one thing I hated about the city is that everyone's in a rush. People just walk by each other as if their obstacles get past instead of, well, people. You know, that... That's kind of why in the city, one of my favorite places to go to are cafes. Like, it, they could be in malls, they could be on the street, out in, uh, up 
yeah, hidden away places, but cafes are the best places to go because of that reason. It's like save points. Like if I was in a game, save points would be cafes because oh, they just take a break from everything, spend a bit of money to relax. It's so great. I think you is like that. You is my coffee break. I came to the city alone, didn't know left from right, and I got lost. I swear every building looks the same. That's true. You can say that again. I tried to ask people for directions to where I'd live or where the school was, but no one would give me the time of day. Except for you. Aw. I helped you. I love her face. Wait, where have I seen that face before? I've seen that kind of uh, face. Um, that, you know, little cute blush. Oh, wait, a Zazzle. A Zazzle from Helltaker. Similar. Yeah, you didn't even know me, but you took the time to help me figure my way around. Gosh, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. I love that smile. She's so cute. Why were you embarrassed? You, you know, it's shy. <laughs> huh. We found out later we went to the same high school, but we never talked too much after that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's not your fault, AIDS. I had to move back home pretty soon after any. Oh, that's, that's kind of sad. Well, I'm happy I'm getting a second chance to know you better, Yui. I feel the same way, AIDS. You're just like how I remember. You know, it reminds me of Serena and Ash. Like, that was basically what happened uh, with uh, in Gen 6. Like, Serena, Ash, I met mean, a long time ago. Ash forgot Serena. Serena never forgot Ash. Same, th same thing. Well, actually, the whole trying to die date five girls at the time thing came out of nowhere, but life's full of surprises, I guess. Uh-oh, I don't like that. Oh god, oh no, oh god, I don't like that. Oh no, oh no. You heard that music change? That was a music, ch there was a music change. I was like, dang. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm suddenly, oh no. Oh no, oh no. It should take long to remove them from the equation. Sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Oh no, just a little joke. Why are all the girls maniacally killers? I swear to god, if Violet ends up being the one that is sane and choose the one I chose least, I am... I'd rather kill myself right now. I don't like this. She's kind of scary now. She did. She's hiding something. I don't think it, whatever happened in high school wasn't just uh, a little erotic. It was a little murderous. I'm just saying. I'm happy to see you again. She's a yandere. She's not just dere dere. She's yandere. We spend the rest of the day talking, taking in nature, and making up for lost time. Apparently, I was always ending up in trouble back then. I guess not much has changed. Something about Yui made it so easy to open up. found myself almost telling her the truth about the show, but I didn't. I couldn't tell her the whole truth, I could just tell her just enough of what's worrying me to make her feel at home and at ease. Whatever is getting you down, I'm sure it'll be all okay. No matter what, I'm on your side. Well, if she's that into me... Oh god. Wait, so am I going for Scarlet next? Cause um, she did say we'd have to meet a second girl, like two, um, yeah, two girls and each week. I, I guess we'd meet different girls for different days. Maybe after, oh, I stumbled back to my room and plopped into my bed. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. Shuffle over in a haze. It's Cat. Hey there, Aids. Sorry to bother you this late. Ah, oh, it's alright. What's up, Cat? No, mind me. Just gotta make myself real comfortable. Are you on my bed? She's on my, she's on my bed. Of course, guys. Yay. Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. Oh my god, you have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the staff. Oh boy. Damn it, Cat. You'd think the ones actually working here would get treated nicely. I closed the door, then sat then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. Cat. I'm guessing you're not coming to my room at night to start a workers' union. Definitely, she definitely the type to shut it down. I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? I don't know, you'd ask me about my day? I can think of a few things, you probably want to kill me as my sleep, probably give a briefing, who knows. I, you'd think five women would be enough for a person, you're incorrigible aides. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show, I am heartbroken. Being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it to a long-term gig. I'll be checking in with you each night to let you know how you're doing and give you some advice here and there. Alright, that helps. That's nice of you. Thanks, Kat. 
Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Back to topic. Our audiences really loved your date with Yuri today. Yui today, yeah, not Yuri. There are too many Yuris, okay? People online can't stop raving about you and Yui, uh oh. I mean, it's mostly death threats targeted at you because they want to be in your position, but it's something. Hey, 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 I don't know if Yui would want to go to a stranger, but oh well. Nice to know that the outside world is safer than here. They're just jealous. Most people would dream of having someone be like Yui be their soulmate candidate. That's true. Some people really love Yandere's. It's kind of surprising and also very concerning. Then again, it's no fun. It is just the Yui show. We need drama. Love triangles. Betrayal. Uh-oh. So tomorrow, I want you to find out who your other soulmate candidate will be and ask them out on a date. Uh, I'd rather go on a second date. Alright, what if what I say that? Honestly, I don't really care about ratings. What I care about is getting more... Yeah, I don't care about ratings. I just care about spending more time with Yui. It's only been a day and I already can't wait for the next one. I'm glad to hear that, really. And believe me, I know. I saw your whole date. I know you and Yui really hit it off. Ah, uh, look. In a perfect world, you'd be able to do just that. But if you do that, the show's ratings won't be high enough. <clears throat> and how's that my concern? If the show's ratings aren't high enough, they'll just axe the show before the last day. And they'll axe me. And I'd be treated as if you didn't end up with anyone at the end, if you catch my drift. Uh-oh. Ah, got it. I get why you wouldn't want to, but that's exactly the last... What the last person in your shoes... Uh-oh. And they're not around to tell you about how it went anymore. Aw. Uh, I really think that after all this, we could get a cat root. Alright, I'll ask somebody else tomorrow. Can I, can I at least explain why I have to do this to Yui? You already know the answer to that, AIDS. I can't. Would that be good for ratings? <sighs> nope. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting late and we both got big days. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. If it's worth anything, I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, AIDS. So, she's actually kind of friendly. She's just trying to run a show. Uh, you know, respect her ethic. I mean, it's true that she does mistreat her workers a bit. But at the same time, she's pretty nice. Like, she would be my second place if it if she weren't a candidate. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Yui before I slept. The sound of waves crashing against the shore. Hey. Oh god, uh-oh. What is this? Huh? Uh-oh. I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within the dream. You probably can't hear me in there, but... I try to respond, but no words come out. AIDS, promise me one thing, don't forget, don't you dare forget, forget what, I don't even remember shit. Promises are unbreakable, right? That's what she told me. Is that what I, is that what I told Yui? Maybe this is a Yui thing, you promised. But you lied, didn't you? Oh god, that's scary. I don't like that. Well, in the morning, the girls and I decided to hang out in the garden outside the... Well, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you guys really enjoyed this, then please press the like button down below. Let me add a second save file. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave this episode. Damn it, I, how do you know it's gonna be Scarlet? Um, so... If you guys liked it, actually, if you, even if you guys didn't like it, I'd be doing this anyway. I love dating sims. It's pretty cool. Oh, and it's getting dark. Holy crap. I'm beginning to look like a neat down here. I don't like it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Um, wait, how do I uh, turn this off?